Not in your sides, Craig Smith joins us live to explain why heavy rain alone is not the only reason our streets flood. Well, guy, right here behind me, this is Cherry Field. It's part of a giant flood control project as well as being a series of playing fields. This place is designed to catch water and release it gradually. It's part of a new effort to reduce water in the streets, but for a long time, our streets were designed to fill with water. It's easy to understand how heavy monsoon rain can flood streets, but when a lot of our area was built years ago, no one designed in storm drains and storm sewers. The plan was to let the street be the storm drain that would channel the water into the washes. It wasn't until the 80s when storm drains really started to be more commonplace, but they're also very expensive. So older neighborhoods are largely stuck with streets as their drainage, while newer street projects often do include storm sewers in their design. It pays to know the places you drive regularly and how they'll react if there's heavy rain. Right over here, a depth gauge that goes to eight feet, that's a really bad sign. But city and county crews do work to track down and remove debris that would clog washes and aggravate flooding. You can do your part by clearing debris from your yard that could wash away and slow down drainage. Now, the Cherry Field right here is part of a much broader, bigger project re referred to as the Arroyo Chico Project. That is a major flood control effort, about 20 years in the making. It reaches all the way from Alvernon over to I-10. And because that project is pretty close to complete right now, the neighborhoods through Midtown that used to flood, the area that would flood is just a fraction of, it, of what it was before this project began. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9 on your side.